Thank, Thank you for coming and watching, watching me. I, or, Harry, or Harry, I am delivered. May you be blessed and highly favored while walking in a new relationship, real, genuine, with the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Be, be blessed, blessed and enjoy. Amen. Amen. Hello. <laughs> See, life is not always going to be the way that you want it to be. But it's going to be the way how God wants it to be for you. See, we ain't going to always have good stuff going on around us. Everything ain't going to be all nice and beauty, beauty all around you. But, see, be able to have peace and joy, love, mercy, and all that inside of you. It's going to be inside of you. But, the only thing that you need to do is to come to Jesus in prayer and choose a daily decision choices righteously and rightly. If you mess up, you make a mistake, come to God. Be open with Him. I mean open. I mean, like they say, transparent. Well, you gotta be open with Him. You gotta let Him know what's all going in you, because He already know what's going in you. He wants you to come to a confession of yourself to be able to say, no, I know I don't got all this right. I don't want to be self-righteous. I, I want you to be able to come inside me and uproot all this stuff because I ain't the one that died on that cross for to reconnect me back to you. So it's been Jesus. So I need your precious Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit to be inside of me so you can cleanse me from all the sins. See, it's, it's, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by the Spirit of God, me and His Holy Spirit, me and the one that come to reconnect you back to Him. See, imagine if you take a tree and you cut off the root source. Right? Well, if you come to the roots of some of that tree, that tree ain't gonna live. It only got but a short time to live. That's why you must be able to be grounded and rooted in the Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God, strengthened through the Holy Spirit, so we can be able to be reconnected to God. See, God is your source and your only source. The only way that you can get reconnected back to Him is by Jesus. See, when Adam and Eve had um, sin, which is when they had disobeyed Almighty God, and ate of that tree of good and evil, everybody start doing good and evil since then. Don't you see it? See, sometimes you do good, sometimes you do evil. And see, and there's nothing that you can do righteous or holy because you need Jesus Christ, you need the Holy Spirit, to be able to do it right. Now, after we start saying that, it's not about beating you up, but about reconnecting back to, to God so He can be able to love you with mercy and grace as you guys. He wants you to be His child once again because you have came through the mother and mother womb onto this planet earth how my god already created you and know all the plans and purpose they have for you that's the only way you can be able to do what you want to do only through god and it's not by your might not by your power not by your strength not by your will not by the things that you want to do but by the way how god wanted to be destined for you see he had prepared everything and he knows all the desires of your heart why would he want to give you the if he is good and righteous? He's not evil. He is holy, righteous, and peaceful, and everything else. He is loving. He's a loving father that loves you. That's why he wants the best for you. That's why God said, I so gave my son my love. See, God so gave us. That's why he said, I, God, so, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. See, he so loved the world, which is you. He so loved you. He gave his only begotten son, his only his very high price, he came put a price on it for you, for you to be reconnected. See, everybody came out of God, the only way everybody can reconnect back to God is by God. That's why I say Emmanuel, God with us, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the only one that could reconnect to us with a spiritual rebirth, which is through the Holy Spirit. So basically what I'm saying is this. It's not by saying, it's, it's not, it, basically you gotta get, you, you have to come to God. You can't get yourself right, but God can. And that's the only way you can do that is through the Holy Spirit. Many times we messed up, many times we sin, many times we lie, many times we lust, many times we do all these things. Lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and pride of life, and all that stuff. We, we want to be seen most of the time because we know that we have a great purpose inside of us. We don't know about it, but we have this feeling that we are great. We can do something great. We can be something great. And the only way you can do that and be that is through Jesus Christ. It's through the Holy Spirit, the way how you're reconnecting you. Man, see, don't, see if, 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 if you want to... How the world is 
Jesus Christ come with the, is is because it's by faith to know. But above all, see if you read the Bible, it, it lets you know that God created all things. He created the moons that you see, created the stars that you see, created the planet that you see, created the trees that you see. He created all the creeping things, all the birds, all the creatures. He created everything in the earth, and if you read along with it, start looking at what God had created and what He had already done did, and what He wants you to have, and what you're going to have to walk through to be able to come through. And you start, and then, then your eyes start being open. But see, it's by faith to receive. Every time you you you, you go to um, wake up and walk out of your bed and walk out of your room, what are you doing? When you, when you go to go to that car and by put that key into the ignition and by turn that car, you taking faith, believing that car gonna crank up. Sometimes the car might not crank up. But see, I'm glad that God is not a man and not a thing and stuff. But He is God Almighty that never fails. <laughs> So you see, you need Jesus to reconnect you back to him, to himself. That's why he said, I will draw all men unto my womb for you to be might be saved. So if you got any clarity in this, do know you have an air to open up and come. And if you already came, get renewed, get refreshed, and get rapture ready. <laughs> Alright. John 15 I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. 
Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning.